the way some people advocate that you need to avoid it at all times to parry with the edge, I sure, don't we'll think. That. So like flat versus edge. Um, so like arguments for uh, the edge parry, or sorry, flat parry, is oh my gosh, if edges keep stacking into each other, um, your sword's gonna get dull. Yeah. And that could happen. However, most of these duels, you're not gonna be fighting long enough that your sword gets dull. Right, that's not going to be an issue, and you shouldn't be pairing a whole bunch up here. It tends to be kind of closer to the strong. So, and so you don't want to die. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> if if your sword gets a pick and you're alive, that's a good day. Like you, your sword can get fixed. If you uh, if you take a hit to the head, your brain is not going to get fixed. And then on top of that, uh, long swords. I don't know if it says specifically. You, know, you can look at art and do lots of arguments, and I've seen a lot of people look at it and argue both ways. But it's some later material. I mean, it's explicitly edge. Yeah, uh, some of the saber material that we have. Um, uh, like, look up, look up there. You can see it. Yeah, in the manuscripts. You know, I'm, it is what it is. Um, but some people are in like solid camps. But when we talk edge on edge. Like some people, like, I don't know. Like people who don't like edge on edge parries think we're just like, like edge on yeah, but yeah. it's at an angle. Yeah. And I see it more of an angle, like real shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's edge on edge. Yeah. But if you but get if you get close to the camera, you'll see it's, it's not. Oh, two sharps are going to bite a little bit too. And they yeah, do. A lot of wine. We, yeah. we used um, a tinker sword that was a little too sharp for, for its own good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fought with it. Um, the edges did bite. It makes the bind stick more. It, it feels yeah. like the sword is uh, magnetic, yeah. uh, which is a very interesting feeling. Yeah, you know? and that's probably why you have your wine bind actually. Yeah, yeah. and it, your sword does get chipped up, and I would yeah. do that all day long. I might get into some trouble. But yeah. I'm just fighting a single duel yeah. or a few fights. But you know, in a battlefield, you'd have multiple weapons anyway. Yeah. Generally did. Yeah. And you would most likely parry with a shield anyway, so... <coughs> it depends happen. if you had one. Yeah, if you had yeah, one, shield wasn't broken. We know, like, in later periods, too, like, swords did get dull. Uh, sabers and metal guards would go dull by bouncing in there when they pulled them out. Mm -hmm. That's a sword that's been sitting there maybe all day. Yeah. yeah. You know, and this is just a little different. Yeah. So when we talk about the edge versus, versus, versus flat debate, is uh, either one will kind of work. Um, later sources are explicitly edge. Um, don't think of it as a 90 degree to 90 degree. Um, if someone wants to do just flat parries, you know, it works more there, is, there is one thing I will say, though. I'm not a big advocate of hard parries. The flat with thumb on the back. And the reason, yeah. The reason being is, though. And I don't do thumb puts, at all. It puts watch, a lot of strain on the thumb. So it is. That's the idea. So my big thing with the parry on the flat, well, the German manuscripts that show the thumb here. We'll, we'll get a closer to that later. But if you parry with the thumb, a hard parry, made with the thumb here, all the force goes into the tendons and the thumb here. Well, that parry, I believe, is incorrect. Although, what it would probably be would be this roll, I feel, oh, yeah. and I immediately move. And that's a flat parry, right? That's a flat parry, but it's not meant as a hard parry, it's meant as a deflectional parry. Yeah. So, I'm basically deflecting his force, I'm immediately knowing what he's doing, and then I have the cut. That's what I see the flat parry as being used for. Not as a hard parry of doing uh, that one. Same thing. Uh, there's a hard pair of going like that. I don't think that's not not correct at all. So this is a deflectional parry with the thumb on the back of the blade increases your um, connection to the blade, which gives you a bit a bit greater advantage in fuel. Mm -hmm. More control. More control. You have better. Um, you have be basically the, the blade. You have more communication with your blade in a sense. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll know precisely when it's going to push down too much. There's a lot more. Uh, which is weird because in Fiore, tactile information. In Fiore, which I study, we don't we don't do that. Yeah, mm. that's you, this is a German thing. Right, it's a German thing. You yeah. do see crazy stuff, in there, though, like, <laughs> oh. which I don't do. Oh. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. There's a picture. So, <laughs> so that's sort of the edge for South Bay. You know, and those, those who get most worked up about it are generally solidly one camp or the other, and we're more. Him and I are kind of like open yeah. in a lot of yeah. ways. Whatever. You know, it's, if something is something <laughs> makes sense and it's biomechanically yeah. sound. And there's reasons for it, and you see a guy can actually use it in under duress. Then cool, yeah. cool. But it, but what's interesting is that like when I read Fiore, there's no mention at all. Uh, so he didn't think it was important mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Bear in mind, he didn't mention a lot about footwork and how to hold the sword. But then again, what but now it's all murkers. Yeah, it's uh, like a poem almost. Poem. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the edge versus first line debate, which is by the way an old debate. Um, yeah, really old debate. Yeah. So if it's coming to like a mainstream community, it's it's it's. I don't want to say settled, but settled into its respective camps. There'll but be a lot of dislike <coughs> on that, by the way. That, that's, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. It's love, hate. We love everybody. You do. Love all God's creatures. <laughs> um, 
but that, that you know that, that thing that that's I don't want to say settled, but it's settled into its various camps. Yeah, and uh, we, neither of us were really deeply invested. Yeah, like mm. whatever. If something works, I'm more than happy to like understand why it's. Yeah, working. I, I love talking to both sides. You know, when they they want to explain why they do it. And, mm. and but it's not like it's not like a lot of people look at it as like this is like an absolute truth, fundamental, a fundamental, and they just dig their heels in the sand, yeah. not willing to listen. When that happens, I tend not to I tend to ignore those people. Yeah, yeah. it's just. So uh, it's kind of not an exciting time. answer, but, but uh, preference. 